today we're going to do unit 9 reading. Turn to your textbook, page 110. And you see this page? Okay, we're going to read a passage about surveillance system. They are watching you. Okay, all right. Let's do activity A first. These devices can be used to spy on people. You know what is spy, right? That means uh, you can use these devices to uh, observe people in secret. Okay. So um, what kind of information do you think people doing surveillance could get from these devices? Okay. Maybe some of you don't understand what is surveillance. Okay, you know, um, so you know CCTV. Um, CCTV is doing surveillance job. That means you, uh, they use CCTV to observe people, or they use CCTV to monitor the situation. Okay, to look at the um, place, you know, to make sure it is safe. Okay, so this is called surveillance. Okay, so these are some of the surveillance uh, devices used um, nowadays, like a surveillance camera. Um, normally, we call it, you call CCTV. A video camera, a computer, a mobile phone, or a SatNav. You know what is a SatNav? SatNav stands from the word satellite navigation that means you use the information from the satellites like google map ways you know so we can get the direction to our destination yeah gps okay correct okay so this is called set nav mm. okay so from these uh out of all these devices you can get some information right or not um so what are the information you could get from these the, uh, surveillance devices? Like the set nav that we mentioned just now, we can get um we can get to know the location, right? Not of certain people or of certain place, you know. Okay, what about the others? Surveillance camera, video camera, computer, mobile phone, what are the information you can you could get? What are the use of a surveillance camera or a video and a video camera? What is that? To record or capture um, photos, right? Or videos at certain places, okay? Mm. To make sure that place is safe. No criminal, right? No crimes is happening there, okay? What about computer and mobile phone? What information you can get from that? If you hack into a person's computer or a mobile phone to do to do surveillance, what are the information you could get? To get personal information, right? Not uh, how much money in the person's account. Uh, okay, what is the um, what are some routines? of that particular person normally this is what the police do when they are um, they are investigating some cases right okay all right so this one you um if you look at your google classroom i have already posted this assignment okay so you click on the google form Okay, then you will see the Google form. As usual, you type your name. Okay, choose your class. Okay, um, this one, this activity A here. Okay, I want you to um, explain like what we have discussed just now. Okay, explain what kind of information do you think people doing surveillance could get from these devices. And this time you're not going to answer by typing the answer okay you have to answer this question orally then you don't have to get a partner 
is yourself. Just answer this question orally. Ask, uh, record your voice. You know, record your voice and upload the audio here. Okay, next. We go back to the textbook. Okay, next activity. Quickly read the text and write T for true or F for false for these three statements. What does the text tell us about surveillance? Okay, this is what the text tell you. It's not about your own opinion. You have to refer to the text. Okay, number one, we are being watched all the time. Is it true or false? Okay, number two, it should only be used on criminals. You know what is criminals, right? Criminals means people who are committing crimes, okay? People who are doing all kinds of things that go against the laws, okay? So this is called criminals. It, is it, uh, you read through the text later and find out whether it, um, the surveillance system should only be used on criminals or not. Okay, number three, surveillance equipment can be more effective than people at detecting some things. Okay, that means they are more effective than people. Sometimes some of the things that people cannot detect, but this surveillance equipment can, can detect them. Okay, so read through the text very quickly okay to give me the answer for these three questions yeah i give you a bound so you don't have to uh, go into very details just focus on these three questions skim through the text very quickly and give me the answer you can straight away type at the message okay one is t two is f like that Okay, if it's as soon as you have the answer, I give you one minute to do so. TTT, what about the others? Hey, who won't say TTT again? Okay. Only one correct. Okay, there are two false statements and one true statement actually. Here, okay, let me give you some hints. This is the first paragraph. Okay, this is the second paragraph, right? Okay, you can get two answers in the second paragraph. Okay. You can get some answers in the second paragraph. Okay, you can also look at the fourth paragraph to get uh, another answer. Okay, and then the next paragraph also, the fifth paragraph also will give you another answer. So I want you to read through these three paragraphs again and then tell me what is your answer. Let's read through the second paragraph together. The word that oral predictors is already here, video system that watch people are now used in many cities. Okay, this is this is a keyword. Video system that watch people are now used in many cities. Okay, so let's look at the first statement. We are being watched all the time. The keyword is all the time. Okay, and in this um, paragraph, it says the video system is used in many cities. 
do they mean the same thing? If we are being watched in many cities, does that mean we are being watched all the time? Number one, it says we are being watched all the time. Do you think it is true or false? This sentence, video system that watch people are now used in many cities around the world. Does that mean we are being watched all the time? Here, there are road cameras nearly everywhere. It says nearly everywhere to help control traffic. Okay. In Britain, there are cameras that watch streets, parks, public transport, stadiums and shopping areas. Does that mean we are being watched all the time? Look at this carefully again. It mentioned uh, cameras are set at streets, parks, public transport, stadiums and shopping areas. Does that mean all the places have cameras? And it also says nearly everywhere. Does that mean everywhere? Many cities, does that mean all the cities? So the answer is what? True or false? Okay, so I think it's very obvious already. Okay, number two. It should only be used on criminals. What's your answer for number two? It should only be used on criminals. Is it true or false? Actually, paragraph two also has the answer already. Paragraph two. Read paragraph two and paragraph four again. Paragraph two and paragraph four didn't mention anything about criminals. Okay, but it gives you the answer whether this statement is true or false. Okay, so I want you to read through paragraph two and paragraph four again, Yifeng, and tell me whether it is true or false. Yifeng say false, then why? The video service also used to save life, right? Okay, that is in paragraph four, okay? Video surveillance has also been used to save lives. So it is not only to use to detect criminals. It can also be used to save lives. Okay. And in paragraph two, it also mentioned that it helped to control traffic. Okay. So there are many other use of surveillance camera, not only to detect criminals, right? Okay. So number two is false. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, number three, surveillance equipment can be more effective than people at detecting some things. Okay, Puvan, can you please explain why you say it is true? How do you know that surveillance system is more effective? Okay, in this paragraph, is it mentioned a teenager drowned in the swimming pool, right or not? But the lifeguards didn't. Uh, notice it. Yes, the lifeguard didn't realize. But then the surveillance system can detect it. Correct or not? Okay, so this shows that the surveillance system is more effective than the lifeguard in this paragraph. Okay. All right, now I want you to read through this passage again. Uh, okay, you just now you have already skimmed through this passage very quickly. Okay, now we go through each paragraph again and you tell me, okay, we try to figure out what each paragraph is about, okay? Mm. We look at this SM close up here, it gives you some hints uh, for looking at the answer. Before you read the text, make sure you underline the keywords in the questions, okay? And then as you read the text, write short notes about the contents or topic of each paragraph. Okay, so we are going to do this now. Okay, we write short notes about the contents or we can highlight what is the topic of each paragraph, what each paragraph is about. Now, there are seven paragraphs here. Okay, I want to choose seven students. Um. Aisharia, you read paragraph one and then you tell me what paragraph one is all about. Okay, just give a topic, a simple topic for paragraph one. Okay. 
And then uh, Aisha Sophia, you do paragraph two. Edwin, Edwin paragraph three. Then uh, Zhen Yu paragraph four. Okay, Kylie do paragraph five. Uh, then paragraph six. Gan Yu, last paragraph. Hmm, last paragraph, we all do it uh, together. Uh, give you one minute time. So Aishara, can you tell me what the first paragraph is all about? I want you all to pay attention at the first paragraph now. Aishara say, first paragraph talks about uh, people are being watched and no one could hide from, uh, no one can hide from it and the government can see everyone. Okay, is that real thing or an imagination? based on paragraph one. Aisha say it's an imagination. How? How to prove it? How do you know it's just an imagination? It's not something real. Uh, it says in the future, right? Okay. You pay attention at the years mentioned here. 1984, is it already happened? 1984, is it in the future or is something already happened? 1984 is in the past for us. But for the writer of the novel, paragraph 1 is talking about novel. This novel name is called 1984. Okay? But look at the year that this novel is being published. This novel is published in 1949. You see? Can you see that? Huh? The author, the writer of the novel is George Orwell. Okay? He wrote this um, novel called 1984. And this novel is published in 1949. Do you understand or not? That means... This author, George Orwell, he wrote this novel in 1949, talking about the future that he has not uh, experienced in 1984. Although we are now in 2021, okay, 1984 is our passport, but 1984 for the writer, George Orwell, it is his future. He is imagining something happened in 1984, which is in the future that he doesn't know. Okay, so this is all for us. It is all real thing that is happening now. But for George Orwell, this is his imagination. Do you understand? Aisha already typed her answer. Video, that is for second paragraph, right? Uh, video system that watch people are now used in many cities around the world. Okay, so this is, uh, what is it about in second paragraph? Yes, correct. That means many cities are already using video system to watch people. Okay, all right. Second paragraph done. What about the others? Okay, Edwin is doing the third paragraph, right? The surveillance cameras can be used on criminals and make an area safer. Okay, very good. Okay, that is the main idea in the third paragraph. 
Mr. Nu is doing the fourth paragraph, right? Okay, paragraph four is about the lifeguard didn't realize a boy was drowning in a public swimming pool. Okay, correct. In the fifth paragraph, Kylie say, continue the incident in the fourth paragraph. Uh, those machine has detected Leroy and rescued him. Yes, correct. Okay. Uh, can you talk about the main idea of the sixth paragraph? Many people are still concerned about the public surveillance because there hasn't been a lot of discussion about the advantages and disadvantages. That means some people think that is there may be some disadvantages, right or not? Mm, okay, very good. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, so now we need to go into the exam task now. Mm. Okay, so now you know that uh, what each paragraph is about. This is to help you to get the answer quickly. Eh? Go back to the question of what, uh, out which paragraph the information is in. So we're going to go through the questions here in the exam pass. Okay, and then you will be able to uh, identify from which paragraph that this information can be found. Okay, then the content of the question is in the same order as the information of the in the text. Okay, so that means, um, like for example, number one is paragraph one. Okay, number two, uh, number one and two is they are both in paragraph one. Number three is in paragraph two. They follow the order. Paragraph one, two, three, four, five, like that. They won't be jumbling up like one and then jump to three and then go back to paragraph two. Okay, they are not jumping around. Okay, and then as you read through the paragraph, look for words or expression that are similar to the keywords you underline. Okay, sometimes the you have the similar keywords, but you have to read carefully the sentence in the question and also the sentence in the text. They may have different, they may mean different things. Okay, like the one we did just now for question uh for question one, you see, ah, it mentioned we are being watched, but the keywords is the difference is all the time, okay, with uh, nearly everywhere, many cities, you know. So the um, sometimes they may um, try, they may want to distract you in such a way, okay. So now let's go through this information from number one to ten. Again, these are true or false questions. Okay. So uh, let's go through very quickly and you tell me from which paragraph you can find the answer. Okay, number one, author refers to the book 1984 to recommend we read it. Okay, so is this in which paragraph? The first paragraph, yes. So I think you do number one. Huh? You have to explain why your answer is true or false, okay? Mm. Okay, number two, can you tell me from which paragraph you can find the answer? In 1984, the government knows everything that everyone does. Paragraph one or so, right? Okay. Mm. After three, you do number two. Number three, each surveillance camera in Britain can watch 14 people. This is from which paragraph? This one, I will choose Winston to do it. Number four, Britain has fewer surveillance camera than France. Chang Kai Si do number four. Number five, there are surveillance camera at sports events in Britain. Kwan Mei Yen do number five. Number six, criminals say nothing when they are caught by the police. Uh, Ng Xing Yuan, Xing Yuan do number six. Number seven, British police have used surveillance camera to find killers. Brian do number seven. Number eight, a sign on a house about video cameras mm. might not be true. Okay, Charmaine, do number eight. And number so nine, nice. the Poseidon system had been working in the pool for less than a year. Lotinian, do number nine. Number ten, everyone do together. 
If you already have your answer, please type in the chat. Vincent say number three is two. True. Each surveillance camera in British can watch 14 people. Vincent, can you tell me from where did you get the answer? It talks about 14 people here. So it must be this paragraph, right? With nearly 5 million cameras, one camera for 14 people. One camera for 14 people. Okay, so is it true that each surveillance camera can watch 14 people? Does, do they mean the same? Each surveillance camera in Britain can watch 14 people. That means one camera can watch 14 people only. Okay, and you look at the, what the text say. The text say one camera for every 14 people. Do they mean the same? If it says one camera for every 14 people, that means it is trying to compare the number of camera being set with the um, population in Britain. You know, that means every 14 people, there will be one, cam one camera watching you. Okay, does that mean that one camera can only watch 14 people? Vincent, what do you think? Try to think about it carefully. Okay. Okay, let's go back to number one. Shui Ting say number one is false. Number one, it says the author refers to the book 1984 to recommend we read it. It's, okay, the keyword here is recommend. Does he recommend us to read this novel? Okay, so Xue Jing say false. No. Why? Xue Jing, can you, uh, can you explain why? Did the writer mention anything about recommendation? Did he say anything that you should watch this? Uh, it is just telling us the story. He didn't recommend us to read it. It didn't mention any recommendation there, right? Okay. Thank you, Sir James. Okay, number two. Uh, in 1984, the government knows everything that everyone does. Okay, that means in the novel, uh, in the novel 1984, okay, the government knows everything that everyone does. Okay, so Afitri, your answer is true. Okay, from which sentence that gives you the answer? Uh, it is also mentioned that it is impossible to hide from surveillance. Okay, if there, there is nowhere to hide, that means they are always watching you. Okay, all right, thank you very much, Afitri. Okay, we have answer for number one, two, and three. Okay, Shamin also have given the answer for number eight. Okay, let's look at number eight. Number eight, a sign on a house about video cameras might not be true. Okay, so your answer is true. Okay, this statement is correct. That means a sign on a house about video camera might not be true. From where did you get the answer? Third paragraph, last sentence. For this reason, some people put up signs that say video surveillance is in operation even where there are no video cameras. Yeah, that is true, especially in Malaysia. <laughs> okay. All right, may I say number five is true. Okay, let's look at number five. There are surveillance cameras at sports events in Britain. Okay. So from where did you get the answer, Mayan? Which paragraph, which sentence? How do you know that this is true? Let's look at the second paragraph. Did it mention anything about sports? Okay, it says in Britain, there are cameras that watch streets and parks, public transport, stadiums, right? There are cameras at the stadiums. That means, okay, they have a surveillance camera at sports events. Correct. Okay, what about the others? 
Virginia already got the answer for number nine. Okay, Jinyan say number nine is true. A Poseidon system had been working in the pool for less than a year. Okay, Jinyan, can you tell me why you say the answer, this statement is true? Fifth paragraph, it says nine months earlier. Right? Okay, yes, correct. Here, nine months earlier, a surveillance system called Poseidon had been put in the pool. That means it has been used for nine months only. That means it is less than a year. Okay, thank you so much. Xin Yuan say number six is true because the police use video surveillance as evidence. This is in paragraph three. Okay, let's see number six. Criminals say nothing when they are caught by the police. So this is true, she says. Okay. Okay, let's look at paragraph three again. There's nothing a criminal can say when the crime he has committed has been caught on video. Okay, look very carefully this sentence. There is nothing a criminal can say when they are caught on video, okay? And look at number six again. Criminals say nothing when they are caught by the police. Do these two sentences mean the same thing? What do you think? Criminals say nothing, okay? This question says criminals say nothing. And this sentence says, there is nothing a criminal can say. Do they mean the same? Does that mean that, okay, if you say, um, you look at number six, eh? if you say criminals say nothing when they are caught, that means the police caught them and then whatever the police ask them, they, they don't say anything. They just keep quiet. This is what it means in the question six, okay? But look at the passage. The passage say there is nothing a criminal can say when the crime has been caught on video. That means there is um, no way for them to explain. They cannot say that they can. They are not in that place. You know, it doesn't mean that they keep quiet. They or they say nothing. Okay, it's just that the proof is already there. There's nothing they can say. And so not. So these two sentences basically mean differently. So number seven, Brian say it's true. Okay, let's look at number seven. British police has used surveillance camera to find killers. Okay, uh, Brian, why the answer is true? Which paragraph and which sentence tells you the answer? Third paragraph. Third sentence. Let's look at the third paragraph. The third sentence. Yeah. For example, in 20, uh, in 2009, 95% of Scotland Yard murder cases use video surveillance as evidence. Mm, yes, correct. Okay. Murder cases means they make they manage to find the killers. Okay. All right. And then uh, Kaisi say number four, false. Okay, let's look at number four. Britain has fewer surveillance camera than France. Fewer means they has less, less than France. Okay, Kaisi, how do you know this statement is false? Second paragraph, which sentence? Let's look at the second paragraph. Which sentence tells you British has less or more surveillance camera than France? It's in the last sentence, right? It says Britain has more surveillance cameras than anywhere else in Europe. It didn't mention France, but France is in Europe, you know, okay? So it says here, Britain has more surveillance cameras, not less, okay? So the answer is correct, okay? So we have already answered all from number one to nine already, right? Okay, so let's look at number 10 together. 
Number 10, Norman Seigel is concerned because nobody wants to vote. Okay, the keywords, Norman Seigel and nobody wants to vote. Okay, you can find this in the second last paragraph. Okay, now you see the word Norman Seigel here. Okay, he's a lawyer. Okay, which sentence talk about voting? He believed that people should vote to show if they agree or disagree with public surveillance. Does that mean he is concerned because nobody wants to vote? Does that mean nobody wants to vote? So what's the answer for number 10? Okay, so you can do this. Okay, you can answer all these questions in your Google form. Okay. Mm. These are all the questions that we have discussed just now. The activity E. Okay, you choose the correct word to fit in the gap in the sentence. Okay, I give you three minutes to do it. Okay, and then very quickly you type your answer in the chat. Okay, this is activity E, uh, this part. Find the meaning of the red words below in the text. Okay, all these words are used in the text. Okay, you can see all these words in the text. Try to choose the correct one. Okay, I give you three minutes to do it. You type your answer straight away, type your answer in the chat.
Okay, I shall already have the answer for number one. She says it's prevent. When there are many police officers on the street, it can prevent crime. Okay, prevent means to avoid, to uh, stop something from happening. Okay, if you say commit crimes, who commit crimes? Commit is for the criminals. The bad, pick, the bad guy, they commit crimes. They do crimes. They do something bad. This is called commit crimes. Okay. So the answer here, prevent is correct. To stop crime. Okay. Police officer, of course, they are, they are here to stop crime. Okay. Proven say number two is predict. Can you predict what will happen in five years? Okay. Correct. Predict means you guess what will be happening in the future. Okay, number three, the police must catch or control the fans at a football game. You see football game, there are a lot of fans there. So must the police catch them or control them? Control, of course. Okay, if the police catch the fans, then who, who is going to watch the football game? Okay. So they just need to control them. Uh, okay, make sure they don't get out of hand. Okay, number four. Public or people transport is very expensive in some cities. Okay, transport means the bus, the train. Do you call this, uh, the, the, I mean, the bus or train that is used for for uh, many people, right? Do you use the word people or public in front of it? Do you call them public transport or people transport? The bus you take to school, taxis, uh, LRT, all these are called public transport or people transport. Hmm? Nobody knows? Okay, go find out yourself. Okay, number five. She threw the stick into the river and it drowned or sank to the bottom. What's the difference between drown and sank? Both also go into the water, right? But what's the difference between drown and sank? Drown is for living beings. Sank is for the other objects, right? Drown is for human, especially when you say someone drown in the water. That means uh, that person cannot swim, so he is drowned. Okay, if you refer to an object, like in this case, stick, he threw a stick into the river, so you cannot say a stick drown. Okay, you must say it sank to the bottom, right? Okay, number six, put in or put up a car alarm so that no one could steal his taxi. This one, I'll let you try on your own. Okay, so I want you to check in the dictionary. What's the difference between put in and put up? All right. Now look at your Google form again, the last activity. Okay, this is going to be speaking again. Find a partner and discuss these three questions. Okay. Um, record your discussion and upload the audio file here. Okay, this one is pair work, get a partner. Uh, the partner not necessarily must be your classmate, can be your family member, can be any of your friends. I want you to speak spontaneously. Okay, speak spontaneously means like chatting with when you are chatting with your friends, you don't use a script, right? Not you don't look at the paper, you don't read from paper. And then okay, so just speak spontaneously. Like for example, the first question: generally, do you agree or disagree with public surveillance? Why or why not? Okay, so maybe the first uh first person will say i will ask your friend um do you proven do you agree or disagree with public surveillance and uh, then proven will say 
Um, yes, I totally agree with it. Uh, then you continue to ask Puvan, why? Why do you agree? And then Puvan will have to give reason. I agree because I think this is for safety purpose. Uh, this is also to uh, control the situation, you know. Okay. Then after Puvan has explained, Puvan asks back, okay, what about you? Do you agree or disagree? And then, uh, okay, so this is how you do the discussion. Mm. So after fit, after you are done with the first question, continue with the second question. Is there video camera surveillance in your area? Where? Okay. And how would you feel if there were cameras at your school? Mm. Okay. So both of you take turns to ask and answer. Okay. In a spontaneous way. Don't use script. Understand? So I think that's all. Don't have to record the video. Uh, just an audio will do. Uh, but it's up to you. La. Let's say you feel that you are very handsome or pretty. You want to show me your face also. It's okay. Uh, I, I, I'm happy to see your face also. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. If no question, then we end our lesson here. Okay. I will see you again next week.